Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over a resume. So I'm going to give you a resume. If you're brand new to IT, you could use this resume right now, but you have to actually watch my videos to use this resume and it should help you all to land a job in IT. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos and stuff, support videos about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. I greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over my, my um, resume sample that I have used on my Discord channel. Uh, I'm going to leave it below in the description of this video. So you can download it for free and use it on your own. But I'm going to go over the resume first. Then I'm going to give you some videos that you should be watching in order for you to utilize this resume. Then I'm going to go over like what you should be doing on your own in order for you to understand how this resume works. And I'm going to ask for a couple of questions because some, some people ask me these, these, these questions about um, when should I apply for jobs, when I shouldn't be applying for jobs, stuff like that. So let me share my screen with you real quick and show you, okay? So screen one. Yeah, so here is the resume. So every resume, you already know how it is. It, it's usually your first, your last name. Typically, we try to put our phone number right over here, which is what I did right over here. Then there's the email address and there's LinkedIn account. So someone that, so to, to, to be honest with you, seven people have used this resume and seven people have gotten a job using this resume. Um, just, just being honest with you, like hey, people have gotten service that's tier two jobs using this resume. So if you see right here, it says help desk, it says tech support, custom service, software troubleshooting. See how it's like very targeted to like the ATS system. So ATS system is a, is a system that the algorithm that the HR company uses that they use you use these things to search for people. So this is very targeted um, towards HR, towards the hiring manager. And I uh, and this resume was not created by me, by the way. This resume was created by a bunch of people that got together um, and they saw my YouTube videos and they worked for, they, they, they done HR stuff and they created this resume template just for me, for my YouTube video. So if you watch my videos, you could basically use this resume. You just have to watch my videos. So Help desk troubleshooting tickets, like troubleshooting ticket solution systems, problems diagnostic, technical troubleshooting, phone online support, customer service, compliant handling. On the bottom, you know, th these are the target keywords, right? Technology proficiency. So there is uh, Fresh Desk, which I made a video on this before. And then there's Jira. I made a video recently on Jira. Then there's Active Directory, Office 365. I'm going to make more videos on Office 365. So obviously, I, I have that on the resume. Outlook, I made videos on Outlook, troubleshooting, Cisco, any connect. You need to know some sort of VPN software because a lot of people are working from home right now and they're using VPN to connect to their laptops. You need to understand how dual works. So I made a video on, on how to troubleshoot dual and VPN. There's also Slack or Zoom. So you need to understand how Slack, I'm using Zoom right now for this video that I'm, I'm creating or this video that I made, that I'm making right now. So you need to understand how that works. So this is very, very important. Um, understanding about the browsers, like uh, not like, it, like, not like opening a browser and then, you know, going to a website, like troubleshooting a web browser like Google Chrome, uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, Firefox, or uninstalling, reinstalling it. If you're using Google Chrome, you know what I'm talking about. You would have to go into app data. So you will go into C drive, C users, C local users, uh, users, main users, my account, right? Um, you want to go into app data and then you go, you go into local, right? Uh, you go into Google Chrome, right? You have this folder called user data, and it has your it has your bookmarks and everything. So if if you wanna if you wanna like do a fresh installation of Google Chrome, you will literally rename this. You rename this that old that old right, and then you close out Chrome, reopen it, and it makes a new folder called user data. So you you have to know how to troubleshoot that. So that's why that's here on on this on this resume. Same thing with Firefox and Edge and all these other browsers. You need to know how to how to grab how to grab favorites for uh, IE Internet Explorer. So, you know, the, some of these things, you need to know how to troubleshoot, like how to grab favorites from IE. So there's another one right over here. You know, there's, there's Microsoft, I have Microsoft Office installed on this. I have Internet Explorer installed on this. And there's there's just, there's uh, that, um, the Internet Explorer options right here, images. You, just, you gotta know how to, how to troubleshoot this. There's something that's very, very important. And there's documents right over here, then there's pictures. So you, you need to know how to troubleshoot these applications. That's, that's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say today in this video. Um, understand how LAN, how LAN works, mesh, Wi-Fi topologies, DHCP, VPN. Like I just went over virtual private network. You need to know how VPN works, DNS. You can get locked out of Active Directory um, if you, and you can't log into VPN because of that. You can get locked out of Dual because Dual connects together with, with uh, VPN. So you need to understand how that works. 
Um, understand like the operating systems like Windows 10, Mac OS X, Android, iOS, Chrome OS. So a lot of companies either use Chrome um, as their main operating system, whether it's a school or not. Uh, other companies will use Windows 10. Some companies won't even use Windows 10. They, they're, they're, they're like a whole, they're like a um, on-prem, like really, really which, which uh, jams, J, J, M, J, A, M, F. They use that application jams and they use the J, H, Jeff, whatever, I can't pronounce it. Um, basically use that application and they use Mac machines and they basically, everything is on a Mac machine because they're using Adobe Creative Cloud and then they're editing all these applications, all the software, and they're using everything for Mac. So that does happen in a job and they're using AirWash as well. So you may have to deal with that too. So those are things you may, may need to understand if the company is using all like in-house Mac machines, if that makes sense. So like Kevin, I have no job experience. What, what do I do? It's right here. So see, system administrator right over here. And I put the home lab as your job experience on, on the bottom right over here. And basically installing virtual box server 2016, link clones, RDP, adding Windows 10 clients to the domain, creating modified active directory user accounts, configure Windows Server 2016, TCP IP, uh, remote desktop, creating link group policy, set up Azure AD Connect. You can remove that if you don't know what that is. It's totally fine. Um, work experience, like this is pretend this is this is pretend this is you, right? Like I worked in restaurant, right? You got to keep in mind, I have a restaurant background before I got into IT. So I have McDonald's right over here. It's just an example, right? Because I worked at different restaurants. So um, uh, so Chipotle being one of them, that's where I worked. So uh, this is right here is a, a sample of a restaurant, right? You would put your current job experience. So whatever your job experience is right now, whether you're working retail or restaurant, you will put it down here. And then you put the, the present and date and everything. And then on top of that, on the bottom, on the top, you have the VM lab that you're that you have created. And then on the bottom, you have your education. So you have your A plus Microsoft. Um, do you have high school diploma? You put it in there. If you have a college degree, you put it in there. The, the, the formatting of the resume is a little weird, but it's going to help you. This is, this is like a really good resume. I've seen a lot of people get a job using this resume. I've seen people get a job with doing NOC, Network Operations Center, using this resume. Some people get service desk jobs using this resume. So the questions that I get asked a lot when I, when I talk about resumes and, and on Discord and outside of Discord is, should, should I be applying for jobs while I have, while I'm studying for the A plus? Yes, you should be applying like, Please, please do not wait till you get the A+. Plus. You should be applying like right now, right now, like literally right now, you should be applying for jobs when you, while you're studying and, and getting the A+. Plus. Like you'd be, you'd be surprised. Like some people with this resume and other resumes, they have gotten a job while trying to get the A+. Plus. So you need to be applying as much as you can while, while you're, you're trying to get that A+, plus, Network+, plus, Microsoft, whatever you're studying for, you should be applying for jobs and you should be preparing yourself for these job interviews. So I'm gonna share my screen again. I'm just going. I'm 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 saying that because people are, they wait till they actually get the certification to apply for. A, don't you don't have to wait. You go, you can apply anyway and see what happens. You don't know unless you apply anyway. So apply anyway, okay? So let me share my screen again. So that's really important. So I'm gonna put this resume in my video in this video today in the description below, and I'm gonna put useful useful link videos, which is I'm gonna go over right now. So. Where, where am I getting this from, by the way? So how, how does this resume come together? Like, how can you use this resume? So you need to watch my video on this one. So I have a video here on how to answer phone calls when you're talking to a customer. This is a video I made a really, really long time ago. This is one video. And then I have this the, the, the Help This Lab playlist that I made uh, in 2021, right? Last update in March 2021. Um, you need to watch this video because this video talks about Active Directory. I talk about group policy. I talk about PDQ. Uh, um, PDQ, like deploying applications, I talk about Active Directory, I talk about password reset, I talk about security groups, I talk about how to join the PC to a domain, CMD commands, um, RCEP report, um, RSAT tools, uh, renaming a computer, um, troubleshooting in depth, uh, help desk level one. So you need, you, need, you need to see or need to do this lab video in order for you to understand the resume. And then this is other one, which is I just made recently, which is Jira, right? You need to understand how to use some sort of ticketing system because when you're working help desk, you need to know how a ticketing system works, how to how to resolve the issue, how to close the ticket, how to open a ticket. Clients could open tickets on their own too. So you understand how a ticketing system works. Not like in depth, just like how to close it and resolve it, okay? And there's this other one, which is I made a long time ago, which is like 2020, which is how to troubleshoot VPN in depth. And I talk about RSA, 
I talk about dual, I talk about two-factor authentication, I talk about Google Authenticator. So if you watch all these videos right here, this one, one, two, three, four, and this is not even four, like this is like a bunch of videos, 14 videos. If you know, if you watch all these videos and you build your own lab at home and you have that on the resume right over here, then you should be good to go after that. I wouldn't see why you'll have a problem with this, but please, please, like I'm begging you, like please watch my videos before you use this resume because you cannot lie on a resume. Because if you lie on a resume, they're gonna ask you questions about it and then you're gonna be stuck. You're like, oh crap, I don't know how to answer that question. So make sure you watch the videos Make sure you actually put stuff that actually makes sense and that you know how to answer. And also make sure that you're applying for jobs. And I'm going to say that, like, I'm going to stop sharing again. Apply for jobs right now. Right now, stop, stop waiting till you get certified to be applying for jobs. You need to do that right now for me. Please, don't, don't wait. Do not wait. I beg you, do not wait. You, you, it's like, there's, there's a job right there around the corner. You don't know unless you apply for the job. And don't wait till you get certified. And and when you when you apply for these jobs and when you when you actually like you're not getting a job, go back to your resume, look at your resume, figure out what you did wrong on the resume as to why no one's hiring you. Also, if you do get a call and I'm going to go over this over and over again, if you do get a call and they do they, they do call you for a job interview and then you didn't get the job, it's because your interview skills. So you're either struggling with uh, pronunciation with talking to people, either struggling with your technical skills or you're struggling with answering personality questions like tell me about yourself or what is your great, greatest weakness or why I shouldn't not hire you, you know, things like that. So look at all that before you assume they need another certification or you assume they need something else. It's either your resume, um, it's either your resume, it's either your interview skills, or you're just not applying enough to a lot of jobs. It's, it's easy as that. I mean, simple as that. I mean, it's, I know it's going to be hard for you to get your first job, but that's how it is. That's, that's basically what it is. You're not going to get a job unless you apply for a job, right? So apply for the job, fix your resume, talk to job recruiters, apply everywhere, and don't give up on yourself because a lot of it has to do with, 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 with rejection too. Like if you give up on yourself, I apply over 100 jobs, and I tell you that I apply to a lot of different jobs. You cannot give up on yourself. You got to keep going until someone opens the door. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. More videos to come. Don't worry about it. And um, I hope this video helps you out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Peace. Take care. Bye.